Irregular migration is growing at an alarming rate. This feeds the twin dangers of slavery and human trafficking, especially of young people in search of a better life. Plus TV Africa's Jacinta Obuku tells us more about the plan by experts to curb the trend. Irregular migration and human trafficking have reached crisis proportions globally. In Nigeria, the combination of ongoing intense conflict, a large youth population and limited economic opportunities has led to hundreds of thousands migrating the wrong way. With a decision to come up with a solution, the International Organization for Migration is hosting a town hall meeting on local opportunities as an alternative to irregular migration. We are all here as parents. We are all here as Nigerian citizens. A lot has to be done by all of us. If we must reduce the menace of human trafficking, if we must reduce the incidences of irregular migration in our society. The young people are now faced with the reality of how do I survive? And, this, and the social media is now pointing a direction to them. Look at me, look at me here, look at me here. They, it takes a lot to tell them not to move. The panelists stress on the factors that make young people leave their families, homes, communities and countries. By the time you examine most of these returnees when they come back at the airport, you see that most of them have some good handwork. Most of them have their ONDs, most of them have their HNDs, even their degrees. So I think it's more of peer pressure. Then we have this family pressure like every house must have a representative or somebody that travels. And if you do not travel, it becomes a stigma like, ah, Osawesi has traveled, brought container last two months. You, you are here, you are eating my food. You better go outside and go and look. You sure don't even come out. One of the panelists believes the grass is not greener out there while urging people to travel the right way. Don't let anybody deceive us that you will go to America today eh, and buy a car in the, next, in the next six months. It is not possible. The thrust here is a call on the government, policymakers, stakeholders and youths to help reshape policies towards addressing and curbing irregular migration. Jacinta Ubuku for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.